My name is Trevor Morris and I create music. Thank you. Welcome, Trevor, to your second ASCAP Expo that you yes. participated in. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Um, so, talk about beginnings a little bit. I would imagine that not every single film and television composer starts off with an intense burning desire to put their music to picture. So tell me, what were you immersing yourselves in, or yourself in, in the beginning of your music? Sure. Life? I mean, I was a classical music kid, for sure. Um, studying cello and piano, and that was the initial musical layers. And then in high school, rock and roll, of course, because that's what you do. And then I got into doing advertising, doing jingles, and I fell in love with the marriage of music and picture, and what happens when they become bigger than the sum of their parts, and that led to TV, which led to feature films. It's funny, you know, you're part of a band in high school, and then you become a composer and you're by yourself all the time. And then all you want to do is be part of the band again. <laughs> so uh, conducting with the orchestra is my chance to be part of the band. So it's kind of a full circle. You were rather well educated uh, back in Canada, where you were, you were uh, living, right? Uh, musically, you mean? Yes. Musically. I call myself semi-educated. I was educated when I was really young, but I didn't go to UCLA or USC or Berkeley, um, a school of music per se. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of more from the University of hard knocks and self-taught. <laughs> well, my generation, almost all of them went to a school for this. All my friends that are my age, or roughly my age, went to USC or UCLA or um, even Juilliard. They went to a music post high school experience. So that is different for us, but I think after that, you just go into the real world and, you're, and, real world and you realize how much more you have to learn. And you just, that's where your education really starts. I would imagine, though, that you're also conversant with many of the instruments that you use in your sports? You have to be. I mean, you don't have to be able to play oboe, but you need to know how to write for an oboe. And that's hard, you know? There's a lot of instruments to learn. That's the craft is, what is a French horn? What's its sweet spot? What's too high? What's too low? Things like this. Well, how did you find the particular toolkit of, of software and, and hardware that you're using now? Um, I love technology. I'm a huge technology fan. I grew up on that. So I embrace it, and uh, I have a lot of it around me. Um, but it's an important part of how I write, you know. I, I would venture to say most of my generation don't write on pencil and paper. They all write into a computer, and that's certainly my style. How would you describe your path toward like, finding your own unique compositional style? That's a very good question. It's ongoing. Um, you, know, you start off being influenced by all the composers you love, Jerry Goldsmith or whoever, and your music sounds a lot like them for a long time. And then you start to give yourself permission to try new things and as you mature as a person and you grow as a composer you realize it's incumbent upon you to do that not only because you should but because you have to you know um, and that's been my path and every day a little closer every project that you get a bit more of a you know a bit more clout or you get some experience they let you come off the ledge a little bit more you know it just takes time so you're at a point now where you're being nominated for Emmys. Congratulations. Thank you. For the Pillars of the Earth and Origins? Both it? last year. <laughs> Two nominations. And do you think there was something that separated those particular uh, series from other work that you've done? I do. I think that the quality of the, of the actual production was just so amazingly high. Um, it's just the quality of television in general is very high right now. But those miniseries were really, they really made it great. And Tony Ridley Scott produced Pillars of the Earth. And, you know, as a composer, you need a good project to elevate yourself along with it. So it just, it came together. And I'm very fortunate to be part of those projects.